Well, you better do that. Uh, is that inventory report ready yet? No, sir. Not until tomorrow. Oh. Well, uh, better get that letter finished up and then lock up. Good night. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Miss Mangrum, tell me something. Do you think I'm running the company all right? I mean, do you think Dad will be satisfied when he gets back? Of course, Mr. Sukan. <sighs> good. Uh, put a P.S. in there. Tell Dad to enjoy himself, to have a good time. Yes, sir. Uh, no, never mind. Better leave it out. Good night. Good night. It was almost too easy. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll have some photo stats for me. You're all right, kid. It's a setup for a good loft man like you, Tony. Right up your alley. Big load of skins. Mostly sables and mink. I'll get you a copy of the layout. You get paid 35% of whatever the furs bring. Forty percent. Say, listen, doesn't the Furrier's League keep a couple of detectives in, uh, on retainer? Yeah, for security checks. Oh, uh, would you give me the name of one of them? No, no, nothing wrong. It's uh, just that I'm being a little cautious with Dad out of town. Yeah, how do you spell that? B-A-R-N-E-T-T. -T. That's two T's, right? 
Oh, okay. I'm sorry to drag you down here after hours, Mr. Barnett. Forget it. If a faucet leaks, you call in a plumber, don't you? Oh, sure. Same with a security leak. Oh, but I'm not exactly sure there has been a leak. Why, that card could have worked itself loose by itself. But I've got to be sure. See, my father's gone away on vacation, and he's left the entire business in my hands. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. The combination's to 10 vaults here. They're not all in this building, are they? Oh, no, we rent space in nine other buildings. They are scattered throughout the wholesale district. Do you have time locks on your vaults as well as combinations? Uh, no, Dad feels that only banks should have time locks. He's, uh, he's rather set in his ways. He's also an optimist. Whose idea was it to stick the combination in the bottom of a drawer? Oh, Dad's. We says everybody does it. Sure, and every crook knows that everybody does it. Did you ever pull this card off yourself? Oh, no, it was there just for an emergency. You see, every loft manager knows his own combination. Well, oh, that card's been stuck on the back of that drawer for oh, at least five years. You mean to say you haven't changed the combinations on your vaults in five years? Well, I once suggested to Dad that they be changed, but he almost took my head off. Said it was an unnecessary expense. I think your dad's been living in a cloud. You better get those combinations changed right away. What? Well, you don't know Dad. He won't like that. He'll like it better than empty vaults. Oh, okay. But he'll never understand it. How are your alarm systems? Oh, I've got all that data right over here. A complete diagram of all the wiring, the vaults, buildings, watchmen schedules. Ah, oh, Curry Security Major Installation. They've been out of business since 48. Who's doing the servicing in the vaults now? Uh, nobody. Uh, I mean, we do it ourselves. It saves us money. Another idea of your dad's? Yes, I'm afraid so. Have you ever had copies of these made? No, why? Somebody has. Take a look. There's a slight depression around the edge of each page. Could have been made by a platen. That's used to hold copy flat under a photostat camera. Oh, you're kidding. I wish I were. Take a look at the bottom of this drawer. You say the card's never been pulled off, yet there seem to be two sets of tape marks. These look like the marks where the card originally was, and these look like new marks. Who has access to these offices? Well, there's my dad and I, of course, and the uh, three secretaries. And uh, then there's one office girl and the cleaning woman and the porter. The upstairs maid. Say, you've really got me worried. What do you think I ought to do? The first thing to do is to make sure of your security checks and talk to all your watchmen. Well, if Dad ever finds out about this... I'm trying this, to protect it... you from burglary, not from your father. I can't guard ten loft buildings, but I can't have your combinations changed right away. And I can check your alarm systems and your watchmen. Aside from that, I can't do anything but wait for the burglary. Wait for the burglary? What? This here's the Sukhan building. This here's the floor, second from the top. Here's the vault. You're in good shape, Tony. You always make everything sound so easy on paper, don't you, Johnny? I'm telling you, you could lean against that and fall right in there. I got a kid nephew, three years old. He could crack it. Well, what's the matter? You didn't ask him. You want more dough for the trick than I did? Tony, Tony, fella. This is Johnny Stack. Did I ever give you a bump steer? Now look, what do you want from me? Combination, time checks, blueprints. You got everything here but a police escort. With my plans and your crew, it's a breeze. How about a drink? Kid, get us a drink, will you? Something on the rocks. Make mine light, will you? Uh, what's up here over the vault? Just an office. Some company makes maps. I'm a next door worker. You got me fixed up next door? Sure, short lease. While you're there, you're the Chummers Paper Novelty Company. Okay. Now, let's see. I make a lateral bore through this wall into the wall of the next building. And five feet and down through the floor. That's a lot of work. Is it worth it? Sure. That's why I picked this number two vault. It's loaded. I'm getting paid peanuts for this job and 40% of what's in there. What's in there? A whole load of skins, Tony. Mink and sable mix. $300,000 worth retail. I can get 185. Figure 40% of that. Is it worth it? Mm hmm How about the transportation? A six by six pulls up to the loading platform Tuesday. 
Nine o'clock. You load it and blow. We drive our own cars to the drop? Sure, you know where it is. The first will be there when you get there. Okay, now let's get back to my 40%, huh? The buyers will get there about noon, Tuesday. We sell, we split, we're off to the races. Why couldn't you do it all this week? Why do you have to wait till Monday night? You scared? Just relax. You don't go into anything you're not ready for. And maybe you better stay home next week. Just get sick. I'll get a phony doctor to verify it. Just stay home. But Johnny, you You heard me. I get lost for a minute. Now, where were we, Tony? Just one more thing, Johnny. About the night watchman. Now, supposing he walks in and surprises us. Do we quiet him? I didn't hear that. Well, you better shake your ears out. Now, let me tell it to you this happen. way. Some things I don't put in my plans. A smooth job should run without it. If it happens, I don't want to know about it. You're sensitive. One thing to remember, somebody's got to punch the clock stations on time. I've got a man. I'm furnishing everything. But don't worry, Johnny, there won't be any noise on this job. You're all right, Tony. I got everything figured. The newspapers say a heavy rain all night Monday and all day Monday. You know, rain makes a nice noise when it hits an old tin roof. Hey, maybe if we cut the weatherman in, he'll throw in a little thunder, eh? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I find myself almost wishing there will be a robbery. If there isn't, my father will claim all this is an unnecessary expense. Oh, but I guess we are right, aren't we? We do want to prevent a robbery, don't we? I think we've taken every necessary precaution, Mr. Sukine. The watchman here will keep on his toes. Don't pass any key boxes when you make your inspection tours, and be sure you hit all of them on time. Yes, sir. You're the manager of this loft, Bellman. You've got a real responsibility now. I know it, sir. As your new combination. Memorize it. Yes, sir. Yes, and for heaven's sake, don't ever paste it on the bottom of a drawer. What's above and below this loft? A map company's above and a furniture store's below. Keep your eye on both of them for the next few nights. Yes, yes sir. When'd you load this last? Oh, about a year ago, I guess. Clean it and reload it. Think your father can stand the price of some new cartridges? Get them. I'll pay for them myself. Yes, sir. Got that memorized? Yes, sir. Well, we've got eight more to go. Let's drive over to loft number three. I'll come back tomorrow to check your alarm system. There's my phone number. If you see anything suspicious, phone me. Yes, sir. I must say I feel a lot better now. I may even be able to sleep tonight. You won't sleep so well when I tell you that anybody could break into this vault with the sharp end of a carrot. Oh, I do hope I don't end up hating my father. Johnny. Hi. How's it going? Well, I got a good crew. Electrician, plaster, finisher, a couple of guns. Long time till night, huh? Well, it'll be worth it. Come here. See this place marked off? That's where we're going through.
everything seems shipshape. Where's the watchman? Well, he he must have left before I got here. Open the vault. Surely. Western Union. I better wire my father. I haven't wired him for two days. He'll be furious. That's the trouble. But the new combination doesn't seem to work. No wonder it doesn't work. Somebody's whacked it with a sledgehammer. What? Pins aren't falling in there. Well, what does that mean? Somebody broke into this vault. Oh, but we changed the combination. They don't bother about combinations. This is a punch job. They tied him up so when he came to and struggled, he'd strangle himself. Be police headquarters, quick. All the most expensive furs are gone. How fortune in mink and sable. Don't touch the body. You poor watchman. Hello, give me homicide, Captain Lundquist. Hello, Lundy. Mike Barnett. I'm on a job at 450 Lafayette Street. Night watchman, strangled. Afraid so. Suit gun and son. Punch job at a fur vault, fourth floor. Right. Oh, they took all the expensive stuff, all of it, and the... Oh, my father. Oh, Western Union, please, quickly. Oh, Western Union, uh, I want to send a wire to Mr. Max Zukan, 11 Chandler, Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Here's the message. Loft number two burglarized last night. No, no, don't send that. I can say it better than that. Well, oh, just a minute. You know anything about that plaster up there? Why, no, I've never seen that before. The police will want a list of the missing articles. You better get it out. Uh, make that, uh, we had a little trouble here last night. Never mind that. Now we got to go upstairs to the map gun. Can I help you, sir? I will start you, but I'm in a hurry. Uh, what's the union, please? What are you doing? Who are you? Somebody's been nibbling at your floor. Detective? Uh, the floor? Well, what are you talking about? Was there anybody in this office when you locked up last night? Why, no. Uh, what do you mean? Are you sure? Sure about what? Why, what's happened to Illinois? Oh. Why? Don't touch that hole and don't touch the floor over there. There may be traces of tools or clothing. Hello, hello, hello. What are you doing? I'm wiring my father to come right back. Never mind that now. we got to go next door. Then I want to use your car. You the dispatcher? I, I, yes. Who occupies the fourth floor? Criminal, who wants to know? Somebody who's in a hurry. Oh, uh, let me see now. Uh, a paper company, Chomer's paper company. They ship anything out this morning, you know? Mm -hmm. Big load, about nine o'clock. When was it? Well, now, I should imagine it was paper, laddie. Uh, big wooden cases. Did you notice the name of the trucking company? Um, Hedgerton. Hedgerton Transit. Hedgerton. They say where they were headed? Well, no. I heard one of the fellows tell the driver uh, to, to meet a barge on the East River. And the driver said, don't load it too high because I've got to get under an 11-foot bridge. 11-foot bridge. So, get your car. We have to find a barge on the East River that's being met by a truck from the Hedgerton Trucking Company. It's all right. Decide what you want. This ain't no Fifth Avenue fashion shop. Look, the prices are marked nice and plain on every gallon. So pick them out. You contract them for me. Let's get out of here. Sign, beat it to a phone and get the cops down here.
gents. The merchandise is yours. I'd advise you not to hang around here. Now, come on, boys. The shop's closed. Hey, who's this? A private cop. A snoop, huh? Is there a beef out? How did he find the scout? I don't know. But we gotta lose it. Gotta lose him, too. Now, wait. I don't play these games. I told you that. You do as you like. I'm getting out of here. Just a minute. Nobody gets out of here until I settle a couple of things. But the cops will be down on us. Real cops. Now look, you're not getting out of here with that loot so easy. It's mine. Forty percent of it ain't. Sixty percent you got for planning this. Drawing them pretty pictures. That was a breeze, huh? No slip-ups. I looked kind of hard at them pictures, and I didn't see any cops. Maybe there ain't any. And maybe this is just a fancy way of conning me and my boys out of our dough. Believe me, Tony, I didn't know anything. Yeah, well, so I don't think that you earned your 60%. Okay, keep it. Mm -hmm. But this shameless is for real. It's no con. I made a mistake, I admit it. Well, I'm different. When I make a mistake, I dump it in the river. Get some rocks, I'm gonna pack up a box. And now you can't do that. Well, you're gonna have company, he's going with you. I'd rather go alone. Cops, cops, I told you! What? <laughs> She's not telegraphing anybody. Well, never mind that. She's not telegraphing anybody. One mink, two sable. Now it's that silver fox car. 